Hi friends, in the last video, you learned what a data center is. In this video, I will take you through the data center standards. So let's begin. Tell me, what do you see on this slide? A house on the left hand side and a housing complex on the right hand side. Let me ask you one question. Which one will you buy? If I ask you this question, then definitely I'll get different different answers from all of you. Why? Because the answer depends on your requirements. Let's say you are a professional who is working for an NGO, which is helping farmers, then you will choose the house which is on the right hand side. But let's say you are a vice president of an IT company and working in a city, you are very busy, then you will choose a house which is on the left hand side. Why? Because you will get a swimming pool, you will get a security, you will get all other amenities, you will get 24 by power supply, water, etc, etc, right? Thus, you will choose a house which is on the right hand side. So in this scenario, what do you think? Who is right? The NGO professional or the vice president? Both. Both are right. Correct? So it, it is all about the requirement. Now, since both the people are right, do you think there is any standard in selecting the house? Answer is no. But yes, there is no standard. However, there are best practices in selecting the house. Okay? Similarly, all the companies are different and they select their data centers as per their requirements. So what is a DC? DC is like your house. Only thing is DC and DC who stays? DC is a house for your IT assets for your company's IT infrastructure assets. Got it? So, let's move on. So, as I said, like a house, as such, there is no recognized worldwide standard for the data center. But yes, there are best practices. Going back to your house example, if you want to manage the interiors in your house as per the best practices, as per the industry standards, then whom you will call? You will call an architect or an interior designer. Similarly, in data centers, there are institutes. One of it is called Uptime Institute. Uptime Institute have developed some guidelines. Okay, Uptime Institute in somewhere around mid 90s or in early 2000, they defined the high level standards for data centers. Okay, then another institute called ANSI, they expanded those definitions and added it with their architectural and telecommunication standards. And they started calling it as TIA 942, which is now, you can say it is a standard for data centers. TIA 942 came up with different, different definitions for data centers. They started calling it as tier 1, 2, 3 or 4. Similarly, this tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 definitions were defined by ANSI, okay? Let's see this tier 1, 2, 3, 4 in detail. If you see <coughs> tier 1 data center is a basic data center. What do you mean by basic data center? A data center in which there is a single path for power and cooling. There is no redundancy for your power and cooling. 
let's say in your village the power supply goes then do you have a generator no similarly this tier 1 is a basic data center if it has got a single path for power and cooling thus it is susceptible to many single points of failures okay but many companies many small companies i'd say who don't want to invest much on data centers since their business is mostly offline you could say they might have their data centers in tier 1 data center coming to next tier that is tier 2 data center tier 2 data center is similar to tier 1 data center but it has got redundant components what does it mean let's say some component which is supplying power to your data center if it fails then it has got an another component right is it still okay it yes somewhat it is okay but it may it will still incur the downtime and it will cause interruption to your critical load why because if something is running and if power goes and there is a need to change that particular component then there will be a loss there will be an interruption to your business okay thus there is third category tier 3 data center it is concurrently maintainable what does this mean it means it has got multiple path for power and cooling of which one path can be taken down for maintenance however other path will keep on running and this will ensure that there is no interruption to your critical loads coming to tier 4 data center it is completely fault tolerant it has got multiple active paths for power and cooling with redundancy in each path this is the most you can say this is one of the best data center tier 4 is the one of the best data center which one could ever have in India if you ask me there is hardly any tier 4 data centers most of the data centers are tier 3 data centers okay Fine, that was all about data center standards. Now let me give you one scenario. Assume you are a owner of a big company. Okay. You are a owner of a big multinational company. That company is selling clothes. That company is selling, selling apparels worldwide. Okay. What sort of data center would you like to have? Would you like to have an in-source that is your own data center or would you like to rent that particular uh, data center to some service provider yeah yes again that is your business call if you have people who can maintain the data center if you have the right expertise to maintain the data center if you have your if you have your own land where you can directly see some benefit in building your own data center they then you may go for your own data center otherwise you will rent it right so it is it all depends on your own company's financial calls right okay let's talk about cloud these days another buzzword is cloud right so <clears throat> Uh, what do you think? Will you host your applications in cloud like Amazon, AWS or Azure, Microsoft Azure? Yes, you can. Right? That is an again uh, different, uh, it has again got its own benefits, again its own pros and cons. However, you can still go ahead and 
host your data host your it applications in those in that cloud but do you know one thing all your cloud service providers be it be amazon azure alibaba anybody all those cloud service providers they are hosting their assets in any regular data center okay thus i keep on saying that data center is a foundation of each and every organization whether it is a cloud service provider like aws azure or it is an regular organization which is serving other customers okay so now that's it for this today's video however let's go on for some review questions before i close tell me is there any worldwide standard for data center no but ti942 which is under ansi makes it an official standard so you can say that ti942 is an official standard for data center go to the next question what are the different tiers of data center yes answer is tier 1 2 3 and 4 are the four different tiers of data center as of today in india you will mostly find tier 3 data centers and very few tier 4 data centers next question will your company own a dc or will it outsource it it completely depends on your company's financial and business decision okay so that's it from my side today thank you so much for watching see you in next lecture